Hello BIM learners, this is Raj for BIMModeler.com. We are creating a series of parametric tutorials. In this tutorial, we are going to watch how to create a parametric leg family and we will be learning how to create an angle constraint for a leg which is at two different directions and we will be able to control both and we will be creating an uh, angle for a both direction and we will be later assigning the same to a table or maybe a stool or maybe a chair what we are trying to create in a parametric tutorial so this is going to be a shared family in later tutorials so stay tuned and learn the tutorials and give a command if you want to add something else do subscribe and share with your learning friends so that they also learn it let's start the new family I like to take it as generic model close the background view change the category into furniture and select ok save the family into the appropriate location backup file as one So we are going to learn the trigonometry. So I hope everybody knows uh, trigonometry. These are the formulas. We know the adjacent value. We are going to adjust the adjacent side of the angle. And we know the angle of the leg. We need to find out the hypo value. So the value we have to change the formula. There are three formulas. Sine formula, cos and theta. The tan will not work here. And we can directly go ahead and use the cos cos formulas so which is adjacent by hypotenuse so we can change the hypotenuse and cos theta and the hypotenuse value will be findable this is the uh, diagrams we have the diagrams are very simple we're going to use the formula total length equal to height the side left side adjacent value divided by the cos angle so we know the angle value and adjacent height i mean the height we're going to vary and automatically applying the formula we will be able to find the hypotenuse value let's start creating the reference plane and parameters as we discussed going to the front view let's create a reference plane using the create similar this is going to be the top height or plane. You can use the temporary dimension as permanent dimension. Once the dimension is created, we have to create the reference line. If you want to more know about the reference line and reference plane, there is a video in the eye. You can click the eye on the top right corner. Create the line from the uh, corner to corner and use the align command and align the point. Using the tab, you can use find the point and log the with both the axes and create a dimension angular dimension between reference plane and the reference line and if it is bigger you can change the scale value so that it will be smaller as in the angle constraint the parameter value is angle 1 select ok Similarly, we need to have the leg length. This is going to be the leg length. So you can select the temporary dimension or otherwise you can select it from the edge to edge from for the reference line and create a dimension. And for the same, you can create the parameter and name that as the leg or the total leg length. Okay. On the other parameter, this is going to be the height, the actual height I am like to mention is actual height. 
you can name as per your requirement okay there are three parameters created we have to assign the trigonometry formula here the total leg length so it is going to be the actual height divided by cos theta i mean the cos angle one Once it is assigned, you can click OK or apply. You can see the reflection. You could change the angle and see the flex, whether it is changing according to the angle. Change the height and flex it. It works. Learn to create the revolve. The revolve requires a close to profile and a center axis. First, we are creating the profile, close to profile. Before that, we have to set the work plane using the tab key, which is on the reference plane. Create the profile. And don't forget to lock it with the center reference line. Draw as you like the leg shape with the dimension. I'm not, to, I'm not going to create the leg diameter as parametric. Create the shape and flood it to the flood the corner. Use the trim and extend tree or command and draw the center axis exactly on the reference plane which we have which reference line we have drawn and don't forget to lock it take a dimension which is from the reference uh, point the edge point to the line so these are the points which we are going to use it in the later time as a parametric again from the edge to the another bend we have as in this as a a1 parameter lock it the other one as a2 parameter Since we don't know the exact name of the uh, parameter, so we can keep it as A1 and A2. Finish the model and you could see the revolve going around the axis. Now we have to create another revolve for the top element. Use the pick line and lock it. Everything is same. You have to create a closed loop and an axis. Use the trim and extend and finish the model. Move it along the edges of the other element. Delete the unnecessary elements. Now we can go back to the axis, create the axis and lock it. Now this one completed, we have to create the dimension and so that we can control it. Align everything, take the dimension. So this is the second sweep we are doing. So I like to assign the parameter name as B2 or B1 which will be very useful for me to understand. So there is a dimension of five gap in between the elements. So I like to control the these gap always. So I like to assign the parameter B1 equal to the value of 
8 2 minus 3 but something wrong with the parameter the constraint we have assigned so I have to check the constraint again one more time I'm going to plus the value as 2 still there is a problem you can see that in the top edge it's moving instead of moving the bottom edge the top edge is moving it means the axis we are instead of locking with the reference line we have locked with the axis endpoint so change the endpoint locking position change the dimension and unlock the edges align it again with the reference line endpoint with the object so make sure that you are aligning it properly so assign the parameter value as b1 now if you see that it's maintaining the gap now you can go back to the formula and change the value as minus 3 i like to keep it as 3 as gap so that it will be more detailed now it's good the same way we have to check the other object we have yes we have assigned it as wrong position so we have to change the dimension edit the edges edit the witness line again now we can assign the parameter again to the same one that's it save the family so now we have to check if it is required to be whether it is moving along with the sweep or not you change angle and height of the para parametric family you will be get to know whether it is working properly or not everything is good save the family let's assign the material to the object we have two elements are there as a solid element assign the parameter name called leg bottom material copy the value and select the top one paste the, the one and assign it as top one so two parameters are created make sure that you tick the work plane based and untick the vertical always vertical option so it is going to be in future the second family it is going to be placed on the work plane based save the family let's start the second family so this is going to be the, our second furniture or model we are going to place the same leg here in a different work plane reference plane change the category as usual same furniture and save the family as second angle ok go to the front view and do this exactly the same as you did in the previous case create the height parameter create the reference line and lock the reference line edges with the reference plane create angular dimension now assign all three parameters as height this is going to be the actual height the other one is now we are going to assign as angle 2 the other one is leg length now we have to assign similarly the formula trigonometry formula here actual height divided by cos angle 2 select ok so now everything is work perfect load the family into the project make sure the work planes are set change the work plane place as a work plane and in the option bar use the pick option and pick the plane ok under the reference line you use the tab and select the reference plane as small you can see end reference line select the floor plan automatically it will open the floor plan now you could place the family if you want you can use the space bar and place it as you require once it is placed select the family go to their 
edit type so that we can change their or assign their parameter here so that we can take their parameter from the other family to here create the parameters leg top and bottom materials and actual height this one going to be uh, angle parameter as 2 so we have already created the angle parameter 2 we can assign directly angle 2 or angle 1 so this is going to be angle 1 so both the angles we are going to keep so no other parameters are required now the parameters are assigned go to the front view now if you see that due to the spacebar pressing so it's tilted you can use the flip arrow to flip it upwards now you can use the align command and you could see the align object you can easily align that with the element that you needed go back to the type property change their angle so that it will be very easy for us align with the center axis center axis go to the left side of the view you don't have to lock it go to the left side use the align we are not locking it again so make sure you are not locking it now which is placed automatically below the reference line so now if you see in the floor plan it's exactly in the center now go and assign the angle value as 10 in one side and the other side another 10 so that it moves to the center so this is the reason we are creating as two different family so only one angle can be constrained in one family the other angle will be constrained on the other check with the height Now copy the angle and paste that into angle 1. Now we have to assign only one angle value automatically the other one changes. If you need you can change the angle 1 as angle value. It will be easy for us to understand. We can always change the angle value. The angle 2 will be changed. Go to the floor plan and try it one more time. One value changing one value angle changes. 12 angle 12 it changes again now assign the material I hope everybody knows the assigning material options so you can assign material for both the elements and go to 3d and check the object now the objects completed leg and you can change that and flex it in multiple options as in any other parameters you needed bimmodeler.com select ok so do it multiple times if you have any questions you can leave the comment below so that i can address it i hope i helped you to create a leg family with the angle constraint and stay tuned we will be creating a table family which uses the same leg and stool families use of the same leg. So see you on the next tutorial. Thank you.